Hey guys, I'm Matt. And I'm Brandon. And we're Whiskey Wisdom on today's very special episode, Barrel Bourbon Batch 35. Yeah, guys, you might know Barrel Bourbon. They're on shelves everywhere in 49 states. They're really known for going way outside the box in their thinking to come up with interesting blends and finishes for their stuff to give unique flavors. Barrel sent us out this little bottle to review and talk about, so we're excited. I hope you're excited. Come on back and check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're tasting Barrel Bourbon Batch 35 today, and we're talking about Barrel Bourbon as a company. So their founder is a unique guy. So he came from the tech and advertising industry before he joined the world of spirits. And he's really a, a unique figure in that he's trying to push the boundaries of what flavors and blends he can get out of his spirits. So, I mean, he's really a trendsetter. You won't see many things like Barrel. If you've seen Barrel on the shelves, they have so many unique blends and finishes that they're really trying to, to innovate in the industry, which is something I like. So the one that we got from Barrel, by the way, I just want to preface this real quick by saying that the process, I sent them an email before this, was so smooth. They were, Barrel's been so kind and generous, mm. uh, lightning quick. Yeah. Great company to work with. I just want to put that out there. But before we get into the notes, they didn't pay us to do any of this. They sent this out. So this is our honest review. Um, so this is a 117.5 proof, six year, but it does say that it's a blend of up to 13 year old juice. So six, seven, eight, and 13. Uh, the, the mash bill, now normally, so we've had this issue before where the mash bill doesn't total to 100%, yeah. but it's been on blended barrels, which made more sense, but this is right. a mash bill. So it says 89% corn, uh, 18 rye, and 4% malted barley, which is 111%, so. Right. Um, all right, yeah, we'll have to look into that one. Um, I understand like if it was a blended barrel, but the mash bill though, that's, yeah. It's definitely a blended barrel, but this isn't a right. blend, they're telling you, it's, right. it's the, the mash, mash bill. bill. Yeah, yeah, right. so anyways, um, okay. Oh, go ahead, were you gonna say something? Yeah, so it, I'm guessing here, and tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, as you so often do. So this is me putting myself out there again. I think this is a calculated mash bill based on the mash yeah. bills of all the barrels involved. Right. So that, that's my take on right. it. Right, that's gotta be what it is. Yeah. So now normally what we do is we try to come up with the nose and the taste on our own, mm -hmm. uh, and we don't want to be influenced by, by what they say, but what they've put out and released is so, so crazy interesting. Yeah. and interesting one of the notes blows my mind and mm -hmm. i just want to say something real quick like Only one. <laughs> I, I love yeah well one in particular i love uh banana it's mm -hmm. like one of my most favorite notes and yeah. smell that dude and it's such a banana note to me wow um, it is yeah, yeah it yeah, is yeah. I'm, yep. I'm so excited okay so listen here's the nose you ready so <laughs> cooked fruits i'm just going to try to skip through they have a they have a whole paragraph they did a great write-up here but i'm going to try to just skip through the the notes uh all right cooked fruits lemon curd cherry and banana bread yeah i can definitely get mm -hmm. the banana bread yep uh, birch beer, um, tiramisu, uh, olive and thyme, cocoa butter and molasses. That's the nose. I don't know that my palate can do those flips. No, no, no. That, that's the nose. We'll, oh, that's the nose. That's the nose. <laughs> hey, you ready for the palate? Now, here's here's the crazy note on the palate. Here okay. We go. So Mexican hot chocolate already in. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, love totally. Mexican hot chocolate. Cinnamon and dried chili pepper. Um, then it says it cools down into a grapefruit peel and absinthe note. Interesting. Which is very interesting. But hang on, that's not the note that I'm interested in. Now it does say there's an earthiness pine cone and baking cho chocolate. So the pine cone notes are typically ones that I don't thoroughly enjoy. So I'm kind of curious how prominent that note mm -hmm, is. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the note, you ready? So uh, develop, if you swish, swish, swish around in your mouth, develops into a buttery eggnog and tahini note. Eggnog. Eggnog and tahini. Eggnog. Let's okay. see, I hope so. Now, all right, so I might as well just finish with the finish. Uh, so more lime, lime zest, amaretto, coconut, rye, uh, fennel, and cola. I mean, what the heck? Dude? I hear you. I mean, that's a lot to go through. I'm expecting some spice because of the rye in the mash bill or the derived mash bill. So, all right, I'm excited. Yeah, I can't Cheers. wait. Let's, Cheers, buddy. Let's nose it. I definitely get the banana. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not getting a super cocoa note at all. And not a huge rye note either on the nose. No, not at all. It doesn't, it doesn't smell very proofy at, at all. It smells very, very, um, I don't know, not non-hot. Like it's not gonna be a hot drink. Smooth, hot, right? Hot, yeah, smooth. balanced. Yeah, I was trying to think of balanced. a balance. There you go, mm -hmm. I was trying to think of a better word. <laughs> just like my thesaurus just left my brain. Okay. I, I'm getting like a lot of banana, a yep. lot of uh, like your uh, sweet, like almost like a, a butter with some molasses in it. Yeah, like brown. Like, have you ever smelled brown butter? 
Yeah, well, okay, so like if you were to like take butter melted in a pan and put brown sugar in yes, it and kind of like just stir it around. Yeah, just when it starts to heat up just before burning, that's the smell I'm getting. Yeah, that's so interesting. Brown butter, yep. Man, this really, it, it smells like you're baking muffins or a bread of some kind. It could be banana bread. I do get the banana notes. Um, I, I mean, pumpkin bread, zucchini bread, everything I've baked, this is just coming to mind. Zucchini bread, man, you went with zucchini bread, okay. It's just something I've made often. It's Are you just, getting a lot of fruit notes? I'm not getting a lot of fruit notes. No, I this. don't get a ton yeah. of fruit, and they said we'd get some cooked fruits, yeah. so I'm looking for it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not noticing that very much. Um, and the birch beer, so. Okay, Try uh, take a little sniff with your yeah. mouth open. That gave me a little bit of the fruit that they're yeah, talking about. I'm just getting salad, it's so strong banana. Yeah, well, you love that, so I it's do. probably I know. speaking to you. <laughs> My brain's like, banana, banana, yeah, banana. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, cheers. I'm going in, Let's yeah. taste it. Let's all do right. it. Cheers, guys. All right, you want to go first? Super sweet startup. Super sweet. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I can tell the rye is there, more than on the nose, definitely on the palate. But I like that. It's, it's giving not so much a flavor of a spice, but a feel of spice, and I love that. I get the Mexican hot cocoa comparison, and I dig it. I love this. This is good. I was so nervous to do this because yeah, this is yeah, like yeah. such a great thing that they did to us, and so I was really worried what I think about it. This, to me, you're gonna maybe I don't know if you're gonna think this is a little too too high of a comment. This is to me <laughs> okay. is because the 2022 or 23 23B is that the stag? Yes. This is remnant of that with a little more of a buttery note to me. Like I wow. get that cinnamon fireball note on it, like like okay. the, like the you know yep. like the fireball. Like I'm definitely it getting that before spice. it gets the sweet. Yeah, and then there's like this really sweet afternote on on like the long finish. Uh, in fact, like I can f I can still feel it. Like yeah, the, the finish is <laughs> nice. Stays with you for a while. I didn't actually check out the legs too much. Look. Yeah, it's, it's oh, pretty yeah. leggy. Yeah, this it's pretty is leggy. A pretty leggy. Spicy drink. I like it. I like, but it's not. So it's spicy in that good way that adds flavor and doesn't just overpower what you're tasting. Wow. Right? Wow. I'm going in for it. Okay, all right, set. let's try a second one, see if we get anything else on here. Now, do you get any of the coconut note? I could maybe see like that dulled down. So coconut to me is a more like dulled down sweetness. Mm, right? It, I it, see it's that. like it's like a um I don't know, not like too uh, like a very level set baseline kind of for like mm -hmm. sweet for me. Sure. Right. Um so I guess I could maybe kind of yeah. see that. I don't particularly get like the strict coconut note. I can get it on the finish. As I'm breathing through the finish, I can I can taste that. Oh. I, can, I can get that in the backside. I get kind of like that RC Cola, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, thank you. Yeah. Yep, a little Dr. Pepper. So I see where they come up with the yeah. cola note, but you really got to wait on that. Oh, this is so it interesting. It comes in way late. Boy, this is so interesting. Okay, now, they did say one more thing. I am digging this, guys. I haven't had thir batch 34. Oh man. Okay. Do you have enough? Because because they do. Oh yeah. I have enough for another taste. They have a thing here. Add some water to it. Oh, I might which, need a little touch more for which, water. Which we typically don't do. Just a tiny, tiny touch. Um, I really kind of enjoy. That's good. I really kind of enjoy uh, everything neat. But you know what? Um, they've got it on here. Let's try it. Well, let's see what that does. I guess. Absolutely. So it says that adding the water. Turns it into papaya, pineapple. Dude, how would you love these jobs? Oh, pineapple jelly. Gooseberries and pineapple watermelon. Jelly. Gooseberries. Oh, and tobacco notes come through. Ooh, okay. With crystallized ginger. I usually love that. Now the crisp so the old fashions that I make, I put like a, a crystallized ginger candy on it. Yeah. And it adds that like spot that extra spice. Um, so so I, I, I am interested to see if, if that comes in. So what do you think? Like a, oh Yep. Geez. That's a splash. That's a splash. Yeah. I feel like that was a little much. Let me add a little more of this. Um, peaches, plums, cantaloupe, and blood orange. Dude, this is so interesting. I love all the citrus. I hope I get it. Here, let me add a little more. I feel like yours is like sure. seriously diluted. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, here we go, man. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So if you go in for a nose now, you should get a ton of vanilla. Oh my God. Like that's yeah. vanilla bean. Yep. Wow, okay, this caramel note is still there though. So what are they ex wow. expecting? Some kind of like, oh, pineapple jelly. Yeah, we're getting a lot of citrusy, acidic uh, notes there. Let's see if we get it. Oh, peaches, okay. 
I don't know that I necessarily get any pineapple, but I do get a touch of citrus note. Is it just me or did that make the rye note 10 times stronger? It did, yep. It That's brought that out a little bit, along with a bit of orange Ooh, for me. Oh, so that, that, uh, that like marmalade note? Yeah, like, like have yeah, you ever like gone to orange, like a country yeah. fair mm -hmm. or like a farm and you buy like the little jar and yeah. like someone's 900 year old grandma has made jelly, <laughs> right? And you're like, oh, this is the best jelly ever? Yeah. There's like that, like that marmalade jelly note on, on the very, little very bit, end. A little bit. But that rye spice just totally oh, yeah. blew up. Yeah, it definitely kicks up the rye. That's interesting. I wonder what, why, why the rye note is so much stronger, uh, prominent now. Mm. The sweetness is just really there. I think this might be one of the few things that I would probably enjoy over ice better. That is a nice, nice blend. I'm digging that. Guys, you've got so many options with this. This is crazy. Like, neat alone is very good. Yeah. This cools down that Kentucky hug, whatever you guys yep, say. Yep, Because it, like, it was like slowly hugging me. Yes, it, it, very long finish. Very <laughs> in, nice finish. In the finish. beginning. Uh, but with that, a little bit of dilution, uh, that, that burn note yeah, is totally Just a totally touch gone. of water. Just to a touch totally of water. Gone. But it really brings out the rye yeah. note. I can feel it more on my tongue now I too. That, so that anise flavor. Yeah. Do I have what's the bottle of, of barrel that I've got right there? The the blue bottle right right behind you. Right there. It is. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. I didn't have time to read it. I'm just saying. Oh, it this is you. this is dovetail. Okay. So this is like a finished one. Right, um, right. Where this is just their straight <laughs> bourbon batch. Yeah. Guys. I, okay, would you buy this? I'm, I'm gonna grab a bottle when yeah. it comes out. Yeah, and it's really good. It's yeah. really good. All right. So, do they have a price point? Good for this? combo. Uh, I don't think I, I saw one. I don't think I saw point, one. But, but should be released right. soon. So if you like those notes, really high cinnamon. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, if you dilute it a little bit, you get that nice sweet jelly note with yeah. the, with a very intense rye. Yes. Boy, that's sweet, intense. Sweet orange with that nice rye spice. Yeah. Boy, and a nice finish. This batch thirty five may be your jam. It's good stuff. Barrel. Cheers to you guys. Hey, I, thanks, guys. This is a great blend. This, out. Awesome. this is a great blend. Very nice. Love it. All right. See you guys. Cheers. Cheers. See you on the next episode.